10 wins for Cristiano, eight wins for Carl. This one is going to be fantastic. Instructions by the referee. I mean, they say 6-1-6-2. It doesn't, it doesn't look like it at all. I mean, it looks like Carl looks like to be at least two or three inches taller. I saw him in the elevator, I think, before the weigh-ins. Yeah. I was like, I need a couple phone books to stand up on here. Because he's huge. Here we go. There's lots of power to be generated by these two. hips, fainting with the hips, just to see what the reaction is by Albertson. Nice left landed there by Carl. Nervous energy there by Cristiano right now. It's got to be a lot of pressure having a guy you look up to, a mentor, a coach in your corner. Not wanting to lose in front of him, not wanting to disappoint him. Oh, oh my wow. goodness. That is power with that left leg kick. Wow, that was to the body. It wasn't even to his leg. He still dropped him down. It swept him, hit him so hard in the body, it upended him. We're, a minute, we're just a minute into this fight here. Joe Ferraro joined alongside by Frank Trigg. Yokohama Arena, Ryzen 15. Joining us from around the world. Don't forget to follow Frank Trigg. Twitter is active right now. You can use the hashtag Ryzen15. Follow your truly at Showdown Joe. These two gentlemen here trying to make a statement, specifically sending a message to the gentlemen in our main event tonight. King Mo and Mir Prohaska, who will be one of them, will be crowned the first ever light heavyweight champion. These two are looking for a title shot with a win tonight. Alderson right now on top, getting past one leg. Still in half guard though, but still working. Using some elbows there. Elbows are allowed in this fight, Frank. Great position, Terry. Did a good job. Didn't keep that half guard as tight as he could have, as he was always back in guard. He called it a good job of, of getting little shots, putting in, and trying to make uh, full move as much as possible. his left arm, throwing that elbow. Albertson's working non-stop here. I guess he doesn't want, to fight, doesn't want this fight to be stood up. Are you surprised with that, Frank? Considering um, he dropped him? Oh, nice up kick there by Frolich. Well, also, too, you might, you might think, hey, that, that drop was just luck. I had to catch him off balance. He was moving one way. I keep him the other and let him fall down. It really wasn't me being better with technicals because I had to catch him at the right time. So Carl was like, I don't want to be in that damage anymore. He might have got hit earlier and felt something that, that he didn't notice. So now he wants to be on top. But also, too, his on top is working really well. So why give up that position if you don't have to? Well, it's active from the bottom of his feet here, trying to land an up kick. Are a lot of damage. I mean, I can go old school and say Henzo Gracie, Oleg Takarov. Yeah. We can talk about you know what happened here in Japan with Gegar Musashi, Jacare. That kick can be devastating if they land flush, especially if you're coming into it, right? Like, oh my gosh, yeah. 
try to jump into it. Hit him with a big, big haymaker and catch him. Sit in the face first. All your body weight coming down. Quick move in the middle. A good push here. Wow. And now is Felici able to stand up here? He's chasing Albertson. He throws his own body kick. He's got Albertson bloody, although that's not saying too much because Albertson is always bloody. Look for the knee there. One minute to go here. Round number one, scheduled for three. Look for the trip there by Albertson. Moving back, moving forward. They're in the corner now. As he's in the air. That's two takedowns. Two takedowns just happened right there. And Christian had his arm hanging over the over the rope and it stopped the takedown. You can see the grip from our angle here by Alderson. Telling him below the belt. So we get a low knee, and now they're going to have the doctor look. At, at it, Albertson knows, but he now loses this position, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, which is bad because he had him in the corner, he had him being driven in, he had a good position. Oh, familiar, I just want to double check. Uh, yellow cards are still 10%. I don't know 10 if they, in the yeah. pay, yep. I don't know, I didn't know if they had moved or not. I'll go ahead and double check that. And then does in fact lose the position <laughs> back to the center of the ring they go well in that case Roy Felice certainly should lose the position because he you know it was, it was uh, Carl that drew the knee to the groin so he should lose that position no it was actually Cristiano that hit him oh it was the other way around yeah it was Cristiano that hit him so then why they stop us the middle <laughs> the bleed, right? that's the it's a the very oh yeah, cognizant right. it's a very very cognizant of the blood <laughs> <laughs> oh what a nice uppercut and he drops him Less than 10 seconds to go here. Will be able to survive. Still moving. Still moving. Good. Oh, my goodness. Wow. What a turn of events here at the end of round number one. A fight that Carl Albertson, or a round that Carl Albertson was dominating, yeah. only to have it completely turned around by Cristiano Frolich. So sometimes those position changes actually do you right. They actually save you from losing the round, which is what we saw right here. There's that body kick just completely wow. Up had his legs shut down here. But as we said, Albertson was dominating, and then that little push there, and then he just comes across here and then drops him. Uppercut landed flush. Oh, wow, nice. Two punch combo. Now, if you are in the corner of Carl Albertson, what are you telling him? Recover. We need to. We need to, the first 30 seconds. They need to be on your bike. You need to make sure you fully recover before you do anything. Then when you go in, I need you to punch into a takedown, not just try to shoot a takedown for no reason. My goodness, this looks too quick. The look that Vanderlei gave one of the inspectors. <laughs> Get your hands off my fighter. Here we go. Round number two here. Albertson backing away here. He still hasn't recovered fully. Rolich is hunting. Look at the time. He threw that right on the offbeat there, Frank. Did you notice that? Yeah. <laughs> jab now. Albertson with a low inside kick. Sure should use a bit more of those. Now yeah, it's easier said than done, Frank, but are you surprised Cristiano Frolic isn't picking up the pace here? Yeah, I am, actually. Especially being the Vandalay protege. You knock the guy down at the end of the first round. You just pick it up for about 45, 50 seconds, see what happens. He didn't do any of that. He kind of sat around the first round. The thing with Carl is that Albertson always bleeds. He's always, always. Bleeds. So it doesn't, so it's not like, oh, it's the fight's about to be over and chase him down, but still, once you've got him cut, you got him, oh, yeah, he's getting beat up. Let's keep attacking. He's not. So he's kind of hanging back a little bit. Nice uppercut attempt there by Frolich, but it was answered beautifully. 
on the, on the uh, lead there. Roy Albertson. Nice left hook landed there. Nothing not powerful. Albertson's using that jab just as Frolich comes in. Gives him on the outside, doesn't yep. want to throw anything back. Inside leg kick also out and bounces him quite a bit. Oh wow, another. You see it again. Oh, that's what hurt. Yeah. <laughs> he throws one of his own here, slips and falls. Albertson tries to attack, but no, Fulich is able to get back up and keep his opponent at bay now. Two minutes, 36 seconds to go. Oh. Nice answer there by Albertson. That's a nice check. That's a beautiful punch there. Should have kicked him in the head on the way up. I thought that's what was going to happen. I thought he was holding down for it. Charles Sonny gets a advantage this entire fight. Like everything is working his way now. Yeah, he, and he's doing great with the distance as well. He's kind of just getting out of the way slightly from each punch and right back into position. <laughs> oh, Carl Luck ran into that hook. No defense at all. Kind of really cheering on his fighter. Anything that he does, he's a big cheer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice time there. Nice time to right there, but a good answer back by Frolich. And Carlos just threw that right, hit him, and stood still. Yep. There is a nice body shot there. Those are going to add up. There. Oh, I think Frolich is ready for that one. Hit his arm down, but now with his arm down, a perfect opportunity. Kyle keeps jumping into that, into that hook. And I thought Froch was going to throw a low leg kick of where, of where Albertson was standing. Albertson's doing a really good job moving his head left and right, yep. and then as he dips to the left, that leg comes behind him. So even if you try to throw and catch him as he's dipping that way, you're, you're catching a kick. A combination thrown there by Froelich. Tight. 30 small. seconds to go. You saw what he did in round one, Froelich. Nearly had the fight stopped. Oh, a nice right land there by Albertson there. He's winning this round, Frank, in my opinion. Wow. I mean, it's, it's a little bit of back and forth. Just like in round one. Frolich picks up the pace. Oh, and a nice left landed there by Albertson. This one is going to be tough to judge so far. Yeah, it's close. Now, of course, Albertson bleeding. No surprise there. The question is, though, in Frolich's corner, what kind of advice are they giving him? Because he had the opportunity to pick up the pace after what happened in round number one, and he didn't. It's almost like he allowed Albertson he allowed back Albertson into back the in fight. There. He did, for sure, yeah. For sure, he let him back into it. And as a result, now we're still in a, he's still in a fight that he didn't really necessarily have to be in still. Erickson feels like he still has a little chance to win. Obviously, Cristiano has a chance to win, so now both guys are getting ready to do battle. Step into this next round, when you could have had one guy kind of already on the fence, ready to quit at this point. But you let him off. You got to, you know, folks, you, when you're a fighter, this is your profession, you got to recognize, hey, I dropped that guy. It's only been a minute. Maybe he, st maybe he did recover, but maybe he didn't. Give me 30 seconds to find out, one way or the other. If he recovers, I can back off into the game plan. If he hasn't, I'll just keep attacking, and the fight's over next round. Here we go. Third and final round. Can one of these two gentlemen earn themselves a finish, sending a message to the gentlemen in our main event.
Horses. We've got a perfect view of Vanderlei Silva right now, just barking at Cristiano Frolich, telling him to pick up the pace. Alderson staying in the pocket. This is what corners, corners do a lot so far. Now. Fight close. Tough to tell who's winning. There's no real clear decision at this point. And you know you have a full five minutes left to kind of sway the judges to go in your direction. The corner's got to have great advice and be able to keep their foot immobile. The world's full of This was not intentional. Good drive, though. Yeah, very good drive. Good penetration there. Shades of Josh Koscheck. <laughs> Piece of penetration. <laughs> it's just funny when you say it. I apologize. <laughs> I'm sure everyone can hear the laughter of Jill Dexter Trigg in the background there. <laughs> uh, Boom, nice timing. Didn't on that one he didn't drive through as a result he got stuck. Good job climbing up the body. Yep. Little seatbelt. What's he gonna do with it? Don't worry about the hand, take it out that bottom leg. In that position, if he reached across and pulled out that bottom ankle, that's so tucked underneath Cristiano's crotch, he would have put it away on his butt. But he grabbed his arm so you can keep hitting him in the face. It's decision making time. You have to understand what kind of decisions am I making in this position to put myself in a spot to win this entire fight. Now he pulled him back there, trying to get his head free. Now he's got a bit of a back control here. He's got to watch that right arm. Cristiano's going to have to change this up a little bit. Oh, 100%. He's got to, he can't stay here. He's got to move. Oh, uh, 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 Carl's got his hand tied up. That's why he's kind of stuck in this position. The ropes are actually saving him right now because he can't get a good shot on him. So he cross gripped it. Well, that's pretty good by Carl. He's pretty ingenious in here and how he's grappling on top now. He's got the side control here, stabilizing it, driving his hips down. I mean, it makes sense. He trains at the, at the Pancrase gym in Sweden, um, but this is very Pancrase style of grappling on top. He's got 10 spots he can go to at this spot. He knows which way to go. And he's basically just maintaining position, but not trying to get overzealous with anything. And in a fight like this, they do judge by the whole fight. Yep. This is a way to win the fight. You know, if you have any questions about whether or not you win the first or second, you're going to completely dominate the third. Now you've got a chance to win the whole thing. Frolich has now less than two minutes to get out of this position, sway or swing the momentum into his favor, because right now he is cruising to a loss here in his debut at Ryzen. This is the last thing Vanderlei Silva wants is two of his protégés yes. losing tonight. <laughs> Minute 24 to go here. Just Albertson being systematic. Chipping away at his opponent. Trying to get some elbows in there. Grinding the forearm across his opponent's forehead. We're talking about uh, Vanderlei here if, uh, if uh, Polish loses, but both his fighters tonight lose. In uh, most countries, it's the it's the athlete's problem. You know, you yeah. lost. You know, you didn't do enough to win. But in Japan, if the roles reverse as the Japanese, like Abe or yep. you know, anybody else, or any other coaches, they would take it upon themselves. Hey, it's my fault you lost. I didn't train you well enough to give you the right game plan. It's just interesting how the ch the philosophies have changed with yep. with how fighters are looked at towards their athletes. Or coaches rather, not fighters. Coaches are looked at towards their athletes. A plethora of rights, be it fists or elbows, being thrown by Albertson right now. None of them doing a lot of damage. None of them are going to be, a, you know, a finisher where he's going to quit or tap out or, or get knocked out. But it's enough that he's going to cut him open a little bit more. And Got then him cut on that right eye. And then the, the judges are going to see it. Oh, he's completely down on his top side. Albertson now trying to sneak that left knee through. Ten seconds to go here. Frolich's corner saying, go, 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 go. There's a knee there by Albertson. And even by the look on his face, Frolich yeah. realizes, you know what? I lost this fight. Despite putting his hands up, Didn't I think do deep enough. down inside, he knows he lost this fight. 
That's okay. Had a good showing. He came out and shows he can get hit and he can get beat up pretty good and still have, a, have the ability to be able to come back up and continue. I'm sure we'll see him back again. Of course, he's, you know, you got to remember, he is Randy Silva's guy, so he is completely loved in Japan. I sincerely don't know if he'll be back. I just have a sense here that sometimes the way things are done, I mean, anything can happen, but the excitement factor is extremely important here. He's coming back, Joe. He's coming back. <laughs> You're right, Pablo. <Pablo's. laughs> now Texas watch, now watch. He wins this whole thing, and we're both idiots. <laughs> There you have it, unanimous judges decision victory for Carl Albertson as he takes out Cristiano Frolich with a unanimous judges decision proving his record to nine wins, two defeats. Did he make enough of a statement to convince the Ryzen matchmaker